You like you do not belong there. The issue is, my nigga, the real I want to talk to the real street niggas now. You not going to realize that the nigga on side of you do not belong in the streets until it's too late. Whether it's him not shooting, acting like he's shooting and he's not shooting at all, or whether it's him getting in the interrogation room and saying, God damn, man, I'm supposed to be doing a lot more of my life. Go fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is all you serious, dog. As in Rallo, come on, be on. We gotta be smarter than this. Now, I made sure that I didn't do the video about who dope Rallo selling because I that's that would be snitching. You know what I'm saying what I tell y'all about is shit that already didn't taking place. I'm not gonna give the motherfucker no case. This is why folks think Vlad the folks because he is bringing up shit that folks do not know about until he breaks it. You know and I mean, that's why he's in front of the game because he breaks shit. But that's why also why folks think he the law because he breaks shit. You don't know the shit until he brings it to the forefront and that can start investigations in different kind of ways. But Rallo had just been denied bond because they found, found a letter in his bitch purse on how to run his drug operation and shit like that. Let's unpack this whole thing. First off, I don't believe they found the motherfucking thing. I believe they were given this motherfucking letter. I'm just gonna keep it real bit home. If I'm locked up, I don't give a fuck about none of that duck ass shit. Ain't nothing happened on accident. Anything that happens while I'm locked up happened on purpose. Period, point blank. You can believe in luck and magic and fucking coincidence, but if I'm locked up, I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking accident, dog. Whatever happened, it was on purpose. How in the fuck did these folks find this goddamn letter, bitch? How the fuck did they find the letter, man? We finna talk. Because you niggas is gonna have to learn that all these stories I bring to y'all, I don't give a fuck how these hoes feel about no motherfucking artists, nigga, whole bashing and shit like that. I'm gonna bash hoes. I smash hoes and I bash hoes. Real talk. Bitches deserve to be bad. Like, no chance. If you ain't no woman, no stand up black queen like the fuck you supposed to be, you a nothing ass bitch on social media posting shit that ain't got shit to do with your life, hold you to my chocolate drop, and you a whole gallon of motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, spinach, bitch, big ass tub of collard greens and shit like that, to my chocolate drop. All these hoes on social media lying. Bitch, fuck is wrong with these hoes. Bitch, be a real woman, man. Stand up and take care of them fucking kids you got for that nigga that don't want the motherfuckers. Stupid bitch. These hoes out here out of line, bitch, homie. That's why the fuck I speak, dog. I gotta speak, cause now what we got? Now, once again, another nigga is fucked up behind a bitch. Another nigga is fucked up behind a bitch. I don't give a fuck about nothing, dog. I told y'all who the fuck told on I said it was goddamn Vlad, T.I., or goddamn Fam Goon. We find out it was goddamn Fam Goon. All good. So they got the informant inside the circle. I still don't take back what the fuck I said because what I said was uh, these are the possible people that the feds may have spoken to. And I stand on that. I said that and I stand on that. The fuck? I'm giving y'all his mindset, what he was thinking, why the fuck he was locked up. Niggas think crazy when they locked up. See, the reason why a lot of you duck-ass internet niggas be coming with that bullshit y'all be talking about is because y'all never been in no real situation. This is how y'all live life. Y'all live life through the internet. I come here and give y'all life. You know what I'm saying? I come here and give y'all life. I give y'all what happens out there in real life because I still live that. You know what I'm saying? So, when I tell you that when you locked up, let's, so I'm going to bring y'all back into his head. Now, in his head, he was thinking that, you know what I'm saying, he motherfuckers snitched on me and shit like that, which he knew. I told y'all they had an informant. You think that, that the law just magically find out that he on a plane and he got the goddamn dope on the plane. Somebody told. Same thing with this situation. I believe, I believe that his bitch got real smart. She got smart and said, this nigga locked up, it's a possibility he won't come home. Now, the thing about us niggas, that is a, it's a movie. 
And let me get intelligent for a second. It's a movie called Raisin in the Sun. And uh, I think the, the rendition, like the, when they redid it, Puff Daddy played the, the main male. And it's about the black a black man who has an idea or whatever like that. And he wants his family to believe in him. Pretty much that's the premise of the movie, whatever like that. And that pretty much embodies our the black diaspora because um us as black men if you give us uh, a choice between a ferrari and the secret box a mystery box whatever like that we may choose the mystery box we're like we're wanderers whatever like that we, we we're, we're gonna outthink the situation if you give us that choice it's like it might be, you know what I'm saying? It might be 12 million in that goddamn box. These folks finna give me a Ferrari. It might be 12 million in that fucking box. Niggas kind of think like that, but a bitch, and this is why I do believe in some situations, in a lot of situations, black women make very good mothers because they're extremely practical. They live right here on this planet. Their imagination isn't that big. I'm just being in, in a mind, like, in a majority, coming from the, a majority stance, as a majority, black women are grounded in reality. They're not gonna do all that whimsical wishing and shit like that. They live right here. So what this bitch was faced with was, he might get out, but the feds is offering me this right here, right now. They offering me this right now. What they're offering me, and and I don't want y'all to, like, if you don't believe that they, I'm telling you, I told y'all they talked to everybody around this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or they, maybe they didn't before they got him. But after they got him, I mean, listen, how did they get the nigga and fam going who snitched? They were speaking to people, and they profiled people. The people they're going to talk to, they, pro, they sit back like, okay, Who's the weak link? Just like a tiger, just like any predator. The predators sit back and they watch. Hmm. That look like I'm going to go for that one. So it's a whole herd of motherfuckers running with up like that, but they know exactly who the fuck they're going to get. You know what I'm saying? So that's, and they picked the right one. The motherfucking fam going that they chose, that was the weak link, whatever. I believe they had this bitch walking into the facility. You know what I'm saying? They had her walking into the facility. I'm not sure whether they talked to her before or after in order to get her to give up that paper or whatever like that because I think the operation... I don't want to speak too much, dog. I don't want to speak too much. Bottom line, I'm not going to go into the, the trap shit whatever like that. Bottom line, the bitch gave up the information. Is the bitch... Is she incarcerated? Answer me that. Is she incarcerated? I did not look side eyed towards Charlotte Lowe's daughter. Okay? Now, it's some words about Charlotte Lowe's daughter, but I didn't look at her side eyed. I didn't accuse her of shit with her like that. But when you in this world, big dog, when you in this world, you're gonna see it more times than not. The bitch that you with is going to go with the police. She is going to work with the police. And I know you hoes gonna come back tomorrow some, ah, oh, well, it's a lot of niggas be snitching. Niggas really who be snitching. Listen to me. My nigga, if you out here in the street, big dog, keep them hoes in a whole place. Stop flexing, pulling out your, you know what I'm saying? The first thing, you buying a pack of gum and you wanna pull out the whole wand. You know what I'm saying? Second thing, you, you, you hollering at your nigga at, at the tension coat, whatever like that. Y'all riding down 45, whatever like that. You see a homeboy 45, what up, why? And you know what I'm saying? You pick the strap up from up under the seat, acting like, you know what I'm saying? I don't trust that nigga. Just, just so the hoe can see the strap, whatever like that. Like, my nigga, we play these games so we can impress the hoes, and they really be impressed by that shit. And the hoe really be, she'll, she'll be jocked out after that. But you have to understand, all that shit is going into her mind when it comes down to being practical. Cause, so when y'all get pulled the fuck over, and it's a, and it's a, a, a chance of her going down for that fucking fire, the bitch is going to flip on you real talk. Now, understand too now, it's some hoes, some real ride or dies, who didn't did time for a nigga. And a nigga did not hold them down. And that's fucked up, whatever like that. It go both ways. And that, this is more, even more reason not to fuck with the streets because it is un 
contained. Like, you cannot, there's no way you can tell who is who. You don't know who's who until it's too late. You gonna find out the hard way that this motherfucker is not really built like that. And this is what we got right here. So, what I want y'all to understand about this situation and all the situation, every story I talk about, what you need to understand is you never know what the fuck is going on. In this situation, it might be the bitch. In the last situation, it was his homeboy. In the situation before that, it was the nigga up under him. And in the, the, the situation right before that one, it was him. You don't know where it's going to come from, but best believe the devil and the evil is going to come from somewhere. It's not going to be no situation where the devil, where the enemy is not present. And that's just the, the bottom line. So you can try to flip it like, oh, where's a million more niggas tell on they nigga than bitches do. Oh, man, them hoes be goddamn telling on niggas. Oh, man, niggas be taking they self down with their social media and shit like that. What you see is destruction. That's all you see. This is all you see. And all the time where a nigga will flex, all the time where a nigga will boss the fuck up, that shit don't mean nothing because now niggas have to fight for their life. Now you got to fight for your life. And now, like, we got to put the blame down. In, in this situation, the blame is on the bitch. The blame is on the nothing-ass bitch because she worked with the police. She gave the goddamn letter to the police. And, and now let's talk about what, what was on the letter or whatever like that. So you got the letter. What the letter say, Rallo? What it say, dog? I know what it say. It, it say, um, now see, what do it say, Rallo? What do it say, dog? Because... Now we got to be, now see, now it gets serious now, because who name was on that list? You don't give no orders without no names, big home. How deep is this bitch in this shit, dog? Because if you put names on that motherfucker, I know you can put Charles Robinson, um, Eddie Kane, um, uh, Scotty Peterson. I know you can, uh, uh, address 2399 Phillips Lane. Like, I know you can put it like that. So the law know, the law know that you talking in code. So you got names on that list. Now, when the Fed came and hollered at me, they already knew niggas' nicknames. So I hope you ain't put niggas' nickname because the law might know a nickname better than nigga down the street. The law know a nigga like nigga. The law know who Black is. The law know who who goddamn uh Smokey is. Um. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna, I can't say no names, but these real names and shit like that. Where I'm at, I ain't gonna say no names. Um, uh, uh, look, look, I, don't, I can't say no names because the names I'm trying to make up, I know these niggas. But the law no niggas nickname. So what names did you put on that list? You're not just gonna say take the coat from goddamn from. What did you 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 have? You got some incriminating shit on that list. I did. I want this video to be about this, like the snitch shit about this shit that's supposed to be shit like that. But this video right here is a. I want this to be a testament of why you cannot sell dope in 2018. He wrote a letter. This is why I don't fuck with dope because if you could sell dope to yourself, it'll be all good. But because you gotta sell it to somebody and get it to, from somebody, you fucked up. Now, he th there are names and. Maybe even spots on this list, whatever like that. You didn't just tell her where where to sell a dope at. You had to tell her some people go get it from goddamn Gujo, go take it to goddamn Scotty. There has to be names on this on this on this paper. There's names, there's locations. There is something on it. There is something somewhere. It's something somewhere. It's like I right, go up under the house. There's something somewhere, and it's it's not just about him, whatever like that. It's about somebody else. Fuck him right now. Fuck him because the niggas who ain't locked up is the most important people right now. Because when when he on the list said, tell Red to sweep the chimney, and that mean, and they know that that mean goddamn, we need to know who Red is because Red is supposed to give him goddamn five bricks. And they going to tell her, what does this mean, whatever like that. We already got you for uh, promoting jail contraband and conspiracy to distribute cocaine uh, because we don't know what it is. We don't know what this is. And conspiracy is the hardest law to beat, the easiest one to prove because you don't need shit. This is what uh, they got. Um, Y'all know who they got on this shit, whatever like that. Uh, BMF, Big Meech, 
You know what I'm saying? Ain't catch nigga with no dope, whatever like that. But conspiracy, I, that's something else. They're gonna answer who is Red? Where's Red at? What does he want you to get from Red? She gonna be in there crying. I don't know. I don't know. It. He just wrote me a list. I don't know it. I don't know this. Is. I don't know. Listen. Right now, you we're giving you an opportunity to help yourself out. Um, today can go as simple as we take the letter from you and you walk out of here, or we go ahead and book you in and you won't have a bond either and you can sit with them. Now, right now what you're facing is conspiracy to distribute um, a narcotic because in this jurisdiction, this grade of marijuana is a controlled substance. Also, it's promoting jail contraband, promoting uh, prison contraband, and an attempted escape charge. If you get caught with a cell phone in prison, that is like considered a, a escape charge. You know what I'm saying? So she got charged on top of it. And what you bitch you got, please, if you're going to be in the street, listen to this. Bitch, listen to me. What they're telling you holds no fucking weight. You cannot do nothing from that fucking chair. They got you handcuffed to the goddamn, you know what I'm saying, chair. Or you might just be right here with it. You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing right here. It's already over with. Put your head down and just ride it out because you can't do nothing from right here. You fuck right now. All you can do now is fuck yourself up even more. Period. All you can do right now is fuck yourself even more. So just, you fucked up. Just understand that you fucked up, whatever like that, but you gotta hold it down right here. You gotta hold it down right here. But this is this is the main place where niggas get fucked over. Because in this interrogation room, motherfuckers really believe that they're gonna walk out that building free. It's not gonna happen. Once we're in the interrogation room, it's over with for you. Ain't no leaving out of here. That's not an option. You in here now. You in the streets, this gonna come with it. You might as well get prepared for the interrogation room. If you in the streets right now, Get prepared for the interrogation room. That way you won't be surprised when you get up in there and do no shit that you're going to regret in the future. If you don't want to be in the street, get the fuck out of the streets now while you're free. Don't wait to get in the interrogation room while you handcuffed to say you don't want to be a street nigga or a street bitch. Decide that right now. Because a lot of niggas locked up because you motherfuckers wait till you get in the interrogation room to make a life decision. Make the life decision when goddamn you ride on side, nigga, nigga pass you the blunt, you know what I'm saying, let you know, well, I love you, boy, I appreciate your loyalty. Or a nigga goddamn throw you up, your, your, your light bill, your phone be a bitch, and goddamn, you know, I love you, I appreciate your loyalty. Let a nigga know right then you don't want to be in the streets. Don't wait till you get right here, niggas like, I don't even belong here, man, I'm supposed to play basketball, man, I'm supposed to, man, I got kids at home. Fuck all that. You not going to leave. It is what it is. You fucked up now. You know this come with it. Jail and death come with this shit. Don't be surprised now. This is why we fucked up because it's like we are the best race to anticipate getting a orange from a fucking pear tree. We will anticipate getting a fucking pear from an apple tree like it ain't nobody's fucking business. You do dirt, you get dirt. You're not going to leave out of here clean. It's too many of y'all in the fucking streets and you do not belong there. You like you do not belong there. The issue is, my nigga, the real... I want to talk to the real street niggas now. You not going to realize that the nigga on side of you do not belong in the streets until it's too late. Whether it's him not shooting acting like he's shooting and he's not shooting at all or whether it's him getting in the interrogation room and saying goddamn man I'm supposed to be doing a lot more in my life whether it's the bitch goddamn uh, deciding that she need that $6,000 so she gonna turn you the fuck in go down there to the fucking uh, pay phone you gonna realize that the motherfuckers that you smoking with and that's what I'm telling you get out these fucking drugs because if you was, if you were sober minded, you would be able to see who's who a lot easier. But because you're in this haze, you're being you're being mentally suplexed by these people. These people is fucking you up mentally. They making you think that they really about that life. 
They doing just enough to make you think that this is really what they own. Cause it's a lot of fuck niggas. It's a lot of snitches. They, they come in all forms and shapes and sizes. Some of them be cool, laid back. Some of them be like, they, they really be, have the, the presence of a real nigga and a real bitch, but you don't know whether you're a real nigga or a real bitch until you're put in a real situation. Y'all are giving these motherfuckers real nigga and real bitch passes without never seeing them in a real situation. I'm talking about just them. Just them. Back against the wall, what you gonna do? And you not gonna test them. I said, listen this. This is what every street nigga need to do to his bitch. It's not that hard to do. This is called the ride or die bitch challenge. This is what you do. You get two of your white homeboys. Two of your white homeboys, whatever like that. Go to the store, whatever like that. Buy them suits, whatever. Go to the um, um, fucking uh, <clears throat> party store and get you some fake badges. You don't got to get the gun, whatever like that. But if you want to get the guns, do that too. Have them one day, whatever like that. Your bitch know where all your shit at. You know your bitch know where your shit at, whatever like that. I'm sorry, this, this for your ride or die. But not, not no bitch you just met. This your ride or die bitch. Any bitch you think about really going down that road with. You know what I'm saying? Let this hoe know where your shit at. Let her know what's going on, whatever like that. Or, or lie to her. Tell her, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't tell her exactly what you're doing, whatever like. I'm saying like, tell her that, you know what I'm saying? You... The, the brick man and you be selling dope over here in Pritchard and you see a dope and goddamn whistle and shit like that. But really you see a dope and fair hope and dad you know what I'm saying? Throw her off, you know what I'm saying? Until she meet this challenge. All right, so and show her where the shit hid at in the house. All right, a week later, goddamn, had your white boys come to the house. Yes, ma'am, um, is uh, uh, Big big Peter here? Is Pete Pete? What Big Pete at? Where's Big Pete, ma'am? I don't know what Big Pete... Ma'am, I need you to have a seat. Okay, Ed, let me get you to uh, sign the back. Um, we're going to have to search this place. Sit down, ma'am. Have them have their papers and everything. Whatever, like, have a seat, ma'am. Okay, uh, we have um, we have reason to believe that uh, Pete has been selling uh, dope. Is there any dope in the house right now? No, I ain't no dope in the house. Ma'am, I need you to... Please, thank you. Because at this point in time, I have a dog, canine unit, coming down, and we're going to tear this house apart. Um, you can either cooperate at this point in time, and we can get you out of the way, and you won't be charged. Um, or you're going to have you're gonna be held as an accomplice. Um, if you have children, uh, they will be taken away from you. I, I'm sure you know about this. Um, Pete does this a lot. He does it to every female he talks to. Uh, he uses their home, turns it into his own trap spot, and he just leaves them out there to hang. Um, he has three other girls he's done this to, and they took the charges for him. We haven't been able to nab them, uh, but we have them dead to rights this time. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Does he have any dope in his house? Because any dope I find, you will be charged with it. Right then and there, you gonna find out What's gonna happen? Now, if she got damn, she hold it down, whatever like that, you come by the car like, baby, I love you. Buy that whole something, cause that's a real ride or die. But if she got damn, oh, it's right here, I ain't going down for nobody. Fuck that shit, I ain't getting this shit. Right then and now, you come by the car and pack your shit. Pack your shit, this ain't no game. This ain't no joke, this ain't no fairy tale. Pack your shit, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out because the life you lead, like, you lead a life that is going to ask her to actually be in that situation in real life. So if she can't pass that, that's how the law going to come at her. You give her a test, see what the fuck going on. If she fail it, get the fuck out of her house because she going to fuck you up. Period. A hoe can, she'll watch you say a dope, all kind of shit, whatever like that. But when the pressure get put on, that whole real deal will cooperate. Find out what's going on. And this is what could have happened in this same situation. I don't give a fuck. Niggas get locked up because folks cooperate, and I don't like that shit. If you're not no street nigga, get the fuck out the way. Come on with that bitch goddamn uh, itching and scratching off me, man. These motherfuckers don't be having no case, but these motherfuckers give them everything. Stupid bitch. 
Test your hoe, man. Test your hoe. Stop playing so fucking much. If you want to goddamn find out whether you're going to get fucking 20 years or not behind a bitch, test that hoe. If you ain't scared of that hoe, if you a real nigga, man, test your bitch. Stupid motherfuckers. It's the Big Fast Podcast. I'm A.O. Paseco. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal, too. I ain't even holler at y'all about that shit. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal. See y'all in a minute. Are you serious?